Hey y'all, it's Betsy with Happily Ever After Etc. and welcome back to another garden project. So today we are doing yet another video on peony tubers because if you caught last week's video, which was actually yesterday in real life, we planted two peony tubers, Sarah Bernhardt's from Lowe's. And while I bought two tubers, one was excellent. Six eyes, one had one eye. And I thought that was pretty good for Lowe's, you know, $7.98, good showing. I will go ahead and I will put those uh, clips up on the screen in just a minute. But right after I planted these, I went to Walmart and I found more Sarah Bernhardt peony tubers, this time for $5.42. I was already thrilled with my $7.98 find, so I wanted to see what is the price difference do these tubers look any different? So we're going to do a little comparison here. Last year, I also bought two tubers and two plants. Two tubers. They were Shirley Temples. Um, there was actually four of them. I kept two. Mom kept two. From a independent seller on Etsy. And I bought two Jacorma plants from my local nursery. So let's do a little comparison all the footage, all the tubers that I've purchased over the last year, everything from Walmart to Lowe's <laughs> to our independent nursery to an independent seller on Etsy and see if there's a difference in the tubers. Um, and just, I don't know, I thought it was interesting to see what kind of bang you get for your buck here. Now, of course, when it comes to um, independent sellers like Etsy, I'll go ahead and put that footage up on the screen. Um, they do give you a little bit more of this is what you get. You you're, know what you're buying in the sense that in the listing, they will typically tell you no fewer than three eyes or no fewer than five eyes or one eye per tuber. I will try to find the listing for these and insert it in the video. But when you're buying from an independent seller, you can almost, you can't really examine online the tubers but you have a, a better feeling from the listing of what you're getting likewise from a local nursery you know exactly what you're getting you can examine the tubers or you can examine the plants they've been hand grown hand raised hand selected if you can find tubers from your local nursery or plants from your local nursery they're going to be the top of your price point but they're probably going to be the best grown, the best cultivated, and have the best chance of success. So you've got to weigh those odds. Now, likewise, things from Walmart or Lowe's, your quality of your tubers may be a little less. They may not be. The one we got yesterday from Lowe's was fabulous, um, but your, your price point is going to be even better. So let's go ahead. Let's open these ones from Walmart, and then we will go through... And at the end, I will try to put a side by side by side by side comparison, all the footage I have so that you can really see the difference. Okay. So as far as packaging goes, have the same pretty picture, same information at the top. You can see they both tell you how many tubers are in each package, the price that this is a partial to full sun, spring to summer bloom with excellent cut flower potential. Likewise, if we turn it over, I'm going to guess that both packages are going to tell you your spacing, 24 to 48, that is the same on both, depth one to two inches, that is the same, size. This one does say two to three eyes from Walmart, whereas this does not give you any guarantees from Lowe's. So that's nice. Let's see if that's accurate. And it says that it is a bulb. So all of your information on both pieces is proper. So I went ahead and sliced these open. We will open both of them. So, okay. Here's our first tuber from Walmart. And we do, we have one, two, three. Here's a fourth eye. I think there's a baby one down here, that's good. 
So this is a healthy tuber for $5. I am very happy with this. We will go ahead and plant him. Let's open the second one. Okay, I can already see eyes through the bag on this one. And I did learn my lesson a little bit with these and I felt around with the bags even though I couldn't really see. And I tried to get tubers that at the very least felt bigger. But of course you don't wanna feel too much cause you could easily break off these little eyes. But you can see one, two, three good size eyes with growth. Here's another tiny baby one. And yeah, this looks very healthy. So, so far Walmart's looking great. Two really good sized tubers. The ones from yesterday, we had one fabulous tuber with six or seven eyes and one tuber with only one eye. So collectively we have two decent tubers, whereas the Lowe's haul was an excellent tuber and a mediocre one. All right, so it's not Sarah Bernhardt, but I also took a chance on this Festiva Maxima peony from Walmart. I thought maybe it'd be nice to have not all pink, <laughs> but it has all the same information. It's supposed to have two to three eyes. And this one doesn't look as good as the Sarah Bernhardt's, but it does have one, two eyes. They don't look as healthy. I think that's one there. But it is, it is okay. I think we'll plant it like this. Yeah. Let's go ahead and get these three in the ground. And uh, then at the end, we will show you what they look like. All right, y'all, we've got a Shirley Bernhardt tuber from Walmart. We've got a Shirley, not Shirley, Sarah Bernhardt tuber from Lowe's. This is our single eye. We've got Sarah Bernhardt from Walmart. We've got a Shirley Temple from Etsy. And as you can see, we've got the, what was the eye here and it looks black to me. So we'll see if that grows this year. We've got our old Shirley Temple from Etsy that I really don't think is even there. And our Festiva Maxima from Walmart that all the eyes are a little bit buried. We've got our best one yet, Sarah Bernhardt from Lowe's. Look at all those little eyes popping up. We've got Jacorma from the local nursery with two eyes right there. And Jacorma from the local nursery that I'm not seeing anything on. When I dig around back there, I don't see any growth at all. Now, Jacorma, Jacorma. And both of our Shirley temples have been iced all winter. I will link to that below, but the rest of these we've planted in the last two days. So cross your fingers and I will do a peony update as soon as we start to see leaves. 
and then maybe later in the season. I don't know that any of these will bloom this year. Peonies typically need a couple years to establish enough for blooms, but with this many tubers, something will last. Bye, y'all.